Hi ladies, hi sisters, hi lovelies. My name is Pops and Francis, founder of Women Healing Together. Welcome to my channel. Remember, it's not just my channel, it's your channel and it's our channel because this is where we deal with all things women. If this is your first time, Thank you for stopping by and if you are, are already a WHT family member thank you for sticking with us in this video we're going to be talking about seven mindset shifts that we need to have in order to enjoy financial stability and in order to benefit from entrepreneurship so I'll see you on the other side of this video remember to subscribe hit the notification bell and share this video come on let's talk about mindset shifts all right thank you so much for not scrolling on but for sticking to this video so remember we are talking about seven mindset shifts for us to enjoy an entrepreneurship and financial stability disclaimer I am nowhere where I want to be financially but it all starts out with a mindset shift and the epiphany for me started about a few years ago when I did my master's and after I got my degree in hand and I looked at my paycheck, I'm like, but wait, I have spent so much money to get a master's and my paycheck was less than $10,000 after taxes. It didn't pen out. And I felt, yes, I felt self-actualized because I, I got my degree. But in terms of finances, it was not working out and I know that there are so many of us as women we have been socialized we have been educated to believe that once we go to school we're going to be fine but again notice the backdrop for this video I have the degrees and the certifications and the qualifications and all the cations of my husband and I spread out across there are more going down I am NOT averse to education in fact anyone who knows me will tell you that when it comes on to academics I have always excelled from I started school at two years old I've always excelled I am a teacher by training right so I am all for education but we need to have some mindset shifts there are so many of us who want to experience wealth and financial stability but our minds are still poor though we have all these degrees I scratch <laughs> so I want you to talk to me have you had an epiphany have you had a revelation about mindset shifts and financial financial freedom and financial stability let me know in the comments section below just a summary of what your experience has been I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to share the seven mindset shifts that we need to have to enjoy financial stability okay so here we go number one and let me get my my medal right my honors medal and my honors string BAM I'm proud of my degrees they they are part of my story but as I said before this is something that I had to shift <laughs> had to had to shift it if you met me a few years ago I would be adamant to get a PhD adamant and it's not out of the picture it may still be a part of the future but it's not my priority because here is mindset shift number one we believe so many of us believe that in order for us to improve and increase our income we have to go back to school Dang no you don't you can make money without going back to school if you want to go back for a degree no problem self-actualization is important but do not tie it to financial stability because so many times we go to school and we get the degree and when we receive the paycheck it doesn't pencil out we have spent millions of dollars hundreds of thousands of dollars and then there is no work right because our, our mindset says based on how we have been educated go to school 
school get qualified to work for someone else so that's a shift that we need to make we can make money without piling up all these degrees that are just paper staring at us as we sat in the couch that's what happened to my husband and I today we were looking at the papers and like okay the papers are there but what do they translate into all right so that's mindset shift number one mindset shift number two the either or mentality there are so many persons who believe ladies if you believe that you have an either or mentality comment in this comment section below because you're not alone i have been there too and what does the either or mentality says it says either i have a nine to five or i own my own business it's not an either or you can do both yes if you have a side hustle i do not recommend that you leave your nine to five job before that side hustle can cover your bills and you can be comfortable about what's coming in so it's not an either or for so many years as a teacher i thought i never had the time to do a side hustle because I thought I just couldn't do it. It's either or. I have my nine to five jobs. So I have to stick to that. So that is mindset shift number two. You can do both. Step away from the either or. All right? Because you have to build your own while you are doing someone else's. Let's go to mindset shift number three. And it is I can't sell. What? What do you mean? What do you mean by you can't sell? That is a mindset shift. I have a question for you and feel free to comment below. Have you seen any business in this world that does not require somebody to sell something? You're either selling goods or services. That is entrepreneurship 101. That's business basics 101. We sell every single day. And the truth of the matter is when you're in your nine to five and you're working for someone, you sell their idea, their vision, their product, their services. So what do you mean that you can't sell? We sell every single day. So that's a mindset shift. You sell by the smile that you give someone whom you're introducing to your business. You sell by checking up on how a product is working for a customer. You sell by just saying hello. We sell every single day. But the mindset shift, if you don't like the word sell, then think about it this way. You are adding value to someone else's life. Whether it is through a service, whether it is through, whether it is through goods, you're adding value and you're providing solution to somebody else's problem, all right? So remember that. Mindset shift, cancel, throw that through the door, all right? Number four, the next mindset shift is this, the mentality of being an employee, Again, it's no fault of yours. It's no fault of mine. It's no fault of ours. We were educated to think this way. Story time. So my husband and I migrated in 2018. And during that time, we were living in the United States and I was unable to work as per visa immigration restrictions. And while I was there, I took a meds, as we would say in Jamaica. I was contemplating. I had time to slow down from the hustle and bustle of 9 to 5. And I thought to myself, but wait a minute. The plantation lifestyle is still good and well. The strongest of us physically, the strongest of us intellectually, we go to school and we are trained to go into the plantation of this world and work for not the slave owners, right? But we work for persons who have businesses. So we were trained to be employees. Allow that to sink in. You never may have never thought about it this way, but that is the truth. We were educated and trained to think as employee. So you are in school and what you what is the first thing you think about? I'm going to pass my high school subjects or my standardized test and I'm going to find a job 
or you're in university and you're doing your first degree or whatever degree and you think I'm going to look for a job always the mindset of working for someone let us make that shift now which is to become an employer to add value by having the capacity to employ others right okay and i know some persons may say if everybody is an employer who's going to be the employee remember mindset shift number two it's not an either or you can do both until you are at the level where you can quit your 95 and do your thing solo all right so remember it's not about being an employee which is good if that's what we have and that's what i have now but again i'm doing other things on the side because that is what financial stability is about let's go to the next one i think we're at the fifth one i've stopped i've lost track which usually usually that's what happens when i'm doing these bonus things all right so i did yeah so i've done four so let's go to number five number five entrepreneurship is a quick fix it is not just as how you get up early to go to your place of employment and you work your butt off right to get that salary so that somebody else can be rich and you can get a paycheck that may just be sufficient to pay your bills entrepreneurship is not a quick fix you have to work if we invest so much in somebody else's vision and somebody else's financial stability why are we afraid as as people in general as women to work for our financial stability get rich quick schemes they don't work can i tell you they don't work so please the next mindset shift the sixth one I think we're at, the fifth one is entrepreneurship is not a quick fix, it takes work. So roll up those sleeves and be determined to do what you need to do for your financial stability and for the financial stability of those you care for. Right? Number six, the sixth mindset shift is if someone says no to my business, then I'm going to give up that does not work either because people are going to refuse to support you and i can speak from experience sometimes the persons closest to you will not be the ones to support your business in jamaica we call it bad mind in the bible it is called covetousness right there are some persons who are just jealous of your progress and they will not support you they will not purchase your goods or services they will not share or promote your business on their whatsapp status they will not even say congratulations or even to give a good word we cannot plant our entrepreneurial pursuits and our financial stability on persons opinion of who we persons a person's opinion on who we are so please persons will say no persons will say you are too greedy why is it that you're already in a good job and you want to make more money people will make all sorts of comments but we cannot allow the financial our financial stability to be planted in somebody else's opinion I have been, I've had so many experiences with this, but I'm pushing on and sometimes we have to fight ourselves because someone says no and we're like, you know, this is not for me. We allow doubt and fear to set in. The company that you are working for right now, they or that company did not allow doubt and fear to set in. That is why you're working for your manager. That is why you're working for your CEO. So don't allow the no's, the naysayers, the bad minders <laughs> to prevent you from doing what you need to do. You have an idea? Share it below. What idea do you have as an entrepreneur? What do you have? What do you want to do? Comment and let us support each other because we are women healing together. The seventh mindset shift that we need to shift from is the one that says, I don't have any entrepreneurial skills. Here we go again. Listen, nobody was birthed counting monies and running a business when they escape the body of their mother none of us guess what 
we have to learn we have to learn to walk we have to learn to talk all the things that we enjoy no we have to learn so why are we so complacent when it comes on to entrepreneurship you don't have the skill you can get it I can recommend several authors who will help you on the journey I am also here to help you on the journey and I have a bonus mindset shift for you stop speaking poverty over your life and I had to learn that we're so quick to say I don't have any money we're so quick to say I am broke you're speaking negativity into your life and you are essentially allowing yourself to live in that reality so you may not have the money right now but what about saying I will get the money to start my business Mm -hmm. What about saying I will read a book to upscale myself so that I can be more entrepreneurial inclined, all right? So these are the seven bonuses, mindset shift, sorry, that I would like to leave with you as we move towards financial stability, all right? If you skip to the end of the video because you were not patient enough to listen to me talk, <laughs> Here are the seven mindset shifts. One, stay away from the either or. Two, stay away from I can't sell, because we do it every single day. Number three, the employee mindset, shift that to the employer. Four, going to thinking that going to school and getting a degree, it's the only way to increase your income. It is not. Five, entrepreneurship is a quick fix that is incorrect it takes hard work number six if someone says no to my business opportunity or my business i'm going to give up no keep pressing forward number seven i don't have entrepreneurial skills you can get it and you can learn and the bonus is do not speak negativity over your life thank you so much for staying with me as we looked at these mindset shifts I invite you to leave a comment below remember to subscribe hit the notification bell hit the like button and I will see you on the next video let's make some money oh I have a link below so if you are interested in reaching out to me I have an awesome opportunity that you can benefit from as an entrepreneur so if you're interested email me below or click that link so we can talk if you don't see the link just just email me all right uh, you can also reach out to me on Instagram at women healing together I'm on Facebook my business page is women healing together and I also have my personal page Pop San Francis, just search for me, you'll find me already. Bye. Let's make some money. Bye-bye. <laughs>